So now let's take a visual look at adding and multiplying with complex numbers. So starting out here, 3 minus 4i plus negative 1 plus 5i. Now certainly we could just add these. 3 plus negative 1 is 2, negative 4i plus 5i is positive 1i. But let's think about this visually. So 3 minus 4i, I can think of as this point right here. Right? This dot represents that number if this is my real and imaginary plane. So when I'm adding negative 4 plus 5i, sorry, negative 1 plus 5i, that's decreasing the real part by 1 and increasing the real, the um, imaginary part by 5. So that's gonna move my point to here, and there is the resulting 2 plus i. Notice that we're moving 1 to the left and 5 units up because we're adding that negative 1 plus 5i. So we can think of addition and subtraction as, as shifting a point in the complex plane. So what, what would, how could we think of 2 times 1 plus 2i. Now again, certainly we can multiply this and we'd end up with 2 plus 4i. So the original point is here, 1 plus 2i. The resulting point is here at 2 plus 4i. And notice that it is further away from the origin, further away from 0. Specifically, it is twice as far. And so we can think of multiplying by a real number, which is what we've done here, we've multiplied by 2, as a scaling uh, of the number. So if this number is bigger than 1, it's going to move us away from the origin. If this number is small, it's going to bring us towards the origin. Okay, so now what about i times 1 plus 2i? So again, 1 plus 2i is here, but what happens when we multiply by i? Well, let's see here. We'd end up with i plus 2i squared. Remember, i squared is negative 1, so I end up with negative 2 plus i. Negative 2 plus i. And it's a little harder to see what's going on here, but notice we're the same distance from 0. What's really happened here is that we have rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees. So this ends up, multiplying by i, ends up rotating our point around the origin. Now this gets even more interesting if we start doing multiple calculations. And so imagine that we start with 1 plus 2i here, and then I multiply by 1 plus i. Now, I already did the calculations here, and it comes out to be negative 1 plus 3i uh, after that multiplication. If you want to see a couple steps there, we do first, so 1 times 1, outer, 1 times i, inner, 2i times 1, and last, 2i times i. And then remember, i squared is negative 1, so we end up with 2 times negative 1 here. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, i plus 2i is 3i. So we end up with negative 1 plus 3i. Now imagine that we take that value and we multiply it by 1 plus i again. This time we end up with negative 4 plus 2i. Negative 4 plus 2i. If we multiply that by 1 plus i, we end up with negative 4 minus 6i. Negative no, negative 6 minus 4i, sorry, negative 6 minus 4i, uh, w down here. Yeah, and uh, actually I think it's negative 6 minus 2i. Yeah, sorry, negative 6 minus 2i, yeah, negative 6 minus 2i. Uh, it ends up there. So notice what's happened here. N not only are we getting further away from the origin, but we're rotating counterclockwise. And so multiplying 1 plus up, by 1 plus i, it turns out not only rotates, but also scales.